Well, since it's still raining out and I haven't got anything else to do on a rainy day except emails, I'd rather be doing this. So let's check out this uh, Gold Series 4.5 horse Lawn Boy. Probably one of the last ones made that has the magnesium deck and the two-stroke. So I'm guessing it's about 10, 12 years old. And it's the kind with the manual choke and no primer. Um, let's see. Uh, the safety brake handle works. Let's check compression. Ooh. Oh, it feels like brand new. I bet this thing was hardly used. Very little wear on the tires. <laughs> well, it's probably just a dirty carb. Underneath looks fine and it's not bent. Let's get to her. Well, air filter sure is dirty. Now just remove those two screws on the carb. Done, now to get the carb out. I also noticed when I had it tipped that the crankshaft was dry and rusty, which means the crank seal is good, so that's got a good chance of starting. I just checked the reeds in there and they look good, no debris in them and they're closing properly. Now to remove the fuel filter. Well, that's good, I can blow through it to be sure. It's fine. Now to take off the bowl nut. And ew! It doesn't smell as bad as the Mercedes did, but that's disgusting. That's supposed to be gas. It's probably five years old anyways. So it's going to need a good blow. Well, it looks much better now. I put my lips on there and blew through there and I could feel that it's blowing freely through the tiny little jet, so I didn't have to take anything else apart, and I could feel that it's blowing freely when I tip that down so the needle and seat isn't clogged and that's working correctly, so now time to put it back together. Now on a lawn boy, this is your speed governor, and underneath that little black disc is a spring, and this clicks. It's your ratcheting speed adjuster. It just puts more or less tension on the spring, because most lawn boys don't have much adjustment here for speed. So that's how you do it. You just put your fingers underneath while it's running or while it's not running and just adjust it and trial and error get it running the speed you want. I can just tell by the tension of this that this one should run at the right speed. Well I just went to move the lever up and down for throttle and choke and the choke did not move but it does work if I push it manually. So I check the cable and it's got a broken spot but luckily I have another parts more nearby and I just checked the cable and it's good so I'm gonna switch that that's probably all that was wrong with it why the guy got rid of it no choke no start no prime either well changing that cable was quite straightforward so choke works now no problem Guess what? I gave it a test for spark just before I was ready to pull it and it had none. So one of those coils came from there and I had three others and they all had no spark. So finally I found a lawn boy I took the coil out of and it was a replacement coil and now we have spark. So I just have to reinstall the spark plug and see if she fires up. The gas is in it. So here goes. No prime, just the choke on. shots and it looks like it's been sitting for years. Sweet. Didn't I say before garbage picking is a wonderful business? Fun and every day feels like Christmas because you never know what you're going to get. But you're going to get a lot. <laughs>